Hello guys, good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Alexandra, Milena, Thelma, Ana, Mercedes. Okay, so how are you? How do you feel? ¿Cómo están? Good, so so. Good. Very good. Okay, what about your vacations? Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, good. They were good. Tuvieron bien sus vacaciones. Disfrutar. Yes. Did you enjoy? Yes. So so. Um, okay, guys. So let me see. Well, we are going to start with today's class. Vamos a comenzar con la clase del día de ahora. Eh, Déjenme, le voy a compartir la pantalla. Déjenme un segundo. Ok. Eh, veamos. Ok. Bien. Eh, ok, guys. Veo que Telma Janet ha enviado pues una pregunta acá y pone cuál es el comprobante del manual que se debe de enviar. Bien, eh, en este caso, si ustedes eh, han observado en el, en el grupo, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien eh, ya vio los links que se mandaron para el comprobante? ¿O nadie lo ha visto? ¿No? Vaya, el que voy a... ya firmado. Es correcto. Sí, yo ya mandé mi comprobante firmado. Entonces le voy a reenviar. Básicamente usted abre el comprobante, ¿verdad? Y lo tiene que firmar y lo tiene que mandar. Porque eso es bien importante para eh, el área administrativa. Ellos lo están solicitando. Eso es básicamente lo, lo que se tiene que hacer. Tena. Ok, you're welcome. All right, so we are going to start with today's class. Good evening, everybody. So we are uh, glad that you are here, right? So we are happy that you are here again. And that, of course, we are going to start a new class. This is going to be class number four, right? And we hope we learn a lot today. So to begin with, we are going to start with today's agenda. So in today's agenda, we have the warm up, we have vocabulary, we have unit two. Today we are going to start with unit two and the name of unit two is what's this, okay? Then we have a speaking and we have a quiz, okay? At the end of the class. So first of all, we are going to start with unit two today, what's this, okay? That's the name of the unit. And we are going to start with animals. That means vocabulary, okay? So let's see, it says that we need to put the animals into the correct categories. So we have, as you can see right here, we have different animals and I'm going to pronounce them and then you can go ahead and pronounce those words as well. So we have the first one, which is a bee. What is the meaning of bee? Who knows what is a bee? What is a bee, guys? Okay. A bee. Okay, so we have a B, so that means that is singular, so that is una, right? Una abeja, because we have a B, singular. So we also have a bird, right? And what is the meaning of bird? Pájaro. Pájaro, Pájaro. A bird, yes? Then we also have a butterfly. Do you like butterflies? Yes, do you like butterflies? Yes, those are beautiful. Then we also have a fox. Okay, we also have a fox, which is zorro. Uno, a, one, okay? We also have a ladybug, a ladybug. What is it? Mariquita. Mariquita. Yes. Una, right? Una mariquita. A ladybug. Then we also have a mouse. A mouse? Ratón, un ratón. Yes, very good. A mouse. Uno, right? One. A then mouse. A rabbit. 
Conejo. 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 Do you like rabbit? Yes. What? Yes. So what about this one? A snail. What is a snail? Caracol. Un caracol. Correct. Yeah. We have a squirrel. We have a squirrel. Okay. Uh, guys, if you have a lot of backgrounds, it's okay. 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 Yes. So we have a squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel. This one is like kind of difficult, but you need to practice a lot. A squirrel. Una ardilla. Yes, una ardilla. Mm -hmm. Then we also have a worm. Yeah, which is un gusano. Very good. So guys, let me ask you, okay? We need to put the animals into the correct categories, yeah? So tell me from this list, De esta lista que tenemos aquí, tenemos que colocarlos en la categoría correcta. Okay? So, guys, tell me the animals or insects that can fly from this. A bird, a, a, bird, a butterfly, a ladybug, a ladybug, a butterfly, a bird, and a bee. A bee. Perfect. Now, give me animals that can Climb trees. Squirrel, a squirrel. Squirrel, a snail, a worm, a snail, a mouse, maybe. A mouse, maybe, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so climb. What is the meaning of climb? That is a bird. And what is the meaning? That means? Trepar. Trepar. Very good. Trepar. So now, number three, give me animals or insects that you usually find on the ground, on the ground. A bee. A bee. A butterfly. A butterfly. A ladybug. A ladybug. A bird. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, a bird. Could be. Uh -huh. A snail, maybe. A snail, maybe. Okay. And um, a worm? A worm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I think that most of them, right? But uh, the ones that we can usually find on the ground, that means sobre la tierra, right? So it could be a worm, a mouse could be, right? Uh, a fox as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So now let's uh, let's see. Do you know any other animal that we can find on the ground? For example, another animal? Mm -hmm. How do you say hormiga? Maybe? In English. How do you say hormiga in English? Okay, so how do you say hormiga, guys? Who knows? Um, Nobody? ¿Cómo lo decimos? Hormiga. And. Ok. And. Como en la película. Ok. And. Yes, exactly. That is another animal that we can find on the ground. That is correct. Ok. Then it says, ok, we need to match the words to the pictures of things you find in a garden. So let's see. What is this? Number one. What is this? What is number one, guys? Um, is it a fence? A gate? Number one? Number one. Ah, no, no, no. Um, a fence. A fence. Okay. A fence. Okay. And what is the fence, guys? What is a fence? A fence. Is una cerca. 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 Una cerca. Very good. Now, what about number two? What is this? 
Uh, a greenhouse. A greenhouse. Okay, let me go ahead and. Okay, a greenhouse. And what is a greenhouse? ¿Qué es un greenhouse? Like a vivero. Como un vivero. Very good. Okay, so what about number three? What is this? Number three? A table and chairs. Correct. A table and chairs. Okay, pronunciation. Chairs. Chairs. Con E. Chairs. Chairs. Okay. Chairs. No chair, no chair, chairs. Okay, con E. Correct. What about number five? What is number five? Um. Oh, sorry. Number four. What is number four? A path. Yes, this is a path. Okay, that is a path, un camino, a path, yeah, a path. What about five? What is number five? A patio. A patio, okay, so patio. patio, perfect, okay. What about number six? Uh -huh. Gate. Gate. Okay. A gate. Right. A gate. A gate. A gate. What about number seven? What is number seven? A grill. A grill. That is correct. That is a grill. Okay. And what is a grill? Que es un grill? Parrilla. Una parrilla. Okay. Como una parrilla. Very good. And the last one. Number eight. A shed. A shed. And what is this one? What is that? Es como un cobertizo. cobertizo. Correcto, como un cobertizo. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Do you have any question? Preguntas? Me, teacher. Yes. Um, what is a gate? What is a gate? A gate is like un portón. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Yes, como un portón. En ese caso, es ese eh, number six, okay? El portón está hecho de qué? De madera, okay? Pero sigue siendo como el gate, como el portón donde usted entra, okay? Thank The you. Gate. Very good. All right, guys, just for pronunciation, remember, a fence, a pass, a gate, a gate, a patio, a patio, a greenhouse, greenhouse, a shed, a grill, grill, table and chairs, and table and chairs. Excellent. Okay, chairs, chairs, chairs. Okay. Yes, let's move, let's continue, okay? So now we are going to move to grammar. Today we are going to study these, that, these, and those. Okay, yes. so teacher, what is the difference between those? Well, the first difference that we can find is the following. So this one, it is pronounced this. Como como cerca. This. Okay, this, yeah, and this, el sonido es más largo y es como con una S, this, 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 okay, tiene que hacer esa vibración al final de la pronunciación de S, this, this, como con Z, ok, so this, this first one this. is singular. Okay, so that means singular. that it's singular. And singular. we use this whenever we have the object near. Cuando está cerca. How okay. do you cerca? Okay. How do you cerca? Close. Cuando está el objeto está close o near. near. Ok, muy bien. 
excellent. And that, when the object is singular, but it is, ¿cómo se dice lejos? Oh. Far. When the object is far, and it is singular. Okay? So, recuerde eso. We use this cuando lo es singular, pero está cerca. And we use that cuando lo puedo escuchar, pero está lejos. Ok? That is the difference. This para objeto cerca singular. And that para objeto lejos singular. Yeah? This yeah. and that. And we have two examples. I like this apple. You see, you see the hand is touching, is near. Now yeah. we have this one. I like that apple. You see the hand is far. Yeah. And then we also have plural. So this plural Near, cerca, ok cuando tenemos plurales, cerca objetos que son plural, cerca en those, plural but the objects are far, están lejos ok remember that do not forget that, ok so we use these and those for plural these for near, ok, cerca and those for Lejos, cuando señala algo y es plural, pero está lejos. Ok. And we have the examples. I like these apples. Ok. One, two, three. Ok. I like those apples. Ya. Yeah? Pero mira, está lejos. ¿Sí? Far. Far. So we are making that reference. Ok. Eso estamos haciendo de referencia. Okay, yes, Astrid. Tengo una duda. Esta solo es cuando las vemos, o sea, las señalamos, pero las vemos. Yes, cuando, cuando se son varias. Y, y la ve. Ajá, cuando digamos, por ejemplo, en ese momento que está, digamos, en su casa, usted puede decir, puede tener tres lapiceros eh, cerca de usted, ¿ok? Entonces puede decir, estos o esos lapiceros. Depende, si usted los está tocando, puede decir estos lapiceros. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Porque los tiene en la mano. Uh -huh. Eso sería... ¿Dis? ¿Lapiceros? ¿Dis? ¿Dis? Entonces, si solo lo señala y dice esos lapiceros. ¿Dos? Uh -huh. Dos, porque solo Dos, los va a señalar, ¿ok? No los está tocando, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Cuando usted los toque, sería es, ¿ok? This, o this. Yes. Yes. Y recuerde que tenemos para plural y yes. singular, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, very yes. good. Ok, thank you, ¿ok? So now, any other question, any other doubt? If not, let's continue, okay? Let's continue. So we have this information from the book, all right? So let's see. So it says, what's in your bag? What's in your bag? Okay, so we have a couple of uh, different objects here. And we have the first one, an address book. An address book right is this one okay what is an address book an address book is um voy a decir que es una libreta de direcciones all right okay. address book yes then we also have a hairbrush 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 hair hairbrush right hairbrush. we also have a wallet 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 Wallets. A wallet. Okay. Wallet. Then we also have sunglasses. 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 Then we also have a camera. 
at camera. 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 Then we will camera. have keys. Right? Keys. 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 Yes. Keys. And then we also have a cell phone. Yeah. Cell phone. Cell phone. We also have a CD player. A CD, CD player. player. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Very CD good. player. Okay. Excellent. Let's move. Now, um, let me see. Yes, thank you. All right. So now, as you can see right here, we have classroom objects. And look at this, okay? Fíjense en esto. Fíjense en esto. An plus vowel sound and a plus consonant sound. Who knows the difference, guys? ¿Quién sabe cuándo utilizar an y cuándo utilizar a? ¿Cuándo usamos an and when do we use a? Me, teacher. Go, Milena. In the am es cuando suena como una vocal, la palabra que viene a continuación del am. In okay. the am es cuando suena como una consonante, For la example, palabra que viene después del a. Ok, dime ejemplo. Como por ejemplo, an um, apple. An apple, ok. In a? A book. A book. Ok. So now, thank you. Yes, very good, Milena. ¿Alguien más quiere aportar alguna otra idea? En que an es un y a es... Ok. Leonidas creo que, que le puso mute a su, a su micrófono. No lo escuchamos. Pero, ok. Sorry. Um, en que... Yes. Sorry. Um, en que... An significa un y a. Ok, creo que nuevamente. Sí. Bye. Ok, thank you, Leonidas. Don't worry, ok. Sí, se le corta cuando va a decir lo otro. No, es que, es que me estaba entrando una llamada, pero decía de que an es un y a es una. Ok. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, ok. Yes, it is valid, ok, es muy válido lo que Leonidas menciona. Ahora, guys, it's really important that you focus on the sound, ok. No en si la palabra comienza con A o si la palabra comienza con B, no si comienza con consonante o con vocal, ok. ¿Por qué? Porque fíjese bien en esos dos ejemplos que le voy a dar, ok. Si yo quiero decir una persona honesta, ¿cómo lo voy a decir? Uh, honest, honest, okay. honest person. Uh -huh. Honest person. Okay. Y ahora si yo quiero decir, eh, okay. en este caso es an, es an, an honest person. An honest person. Muy bien, a pesar que es una H y es una consonante, pero ¿qué sucede? ¿Por qué ponemos an y no a? Porque la pronunciación, porque el sonido, no decimos honest, right? Decimos o, oh, entonces la H es muda, no se dice honest, se dice o. Oh. Uh -huh. Recuerde que la regla general, como usted lo puede estar viendo aquí, dice que an va seguida de un vowel sound, de una vocal, y A va seguido de una consonante, de un sonido con consonante, ¿ok? Pero es en el sonido, no en la escritura, ¿ok? Recuerden, porque aquí es el ejemplo. Esta palabra está escrita con consonante al principio, pero el sonido no es consonante, es vocal, ¿ok? Ok. Ahora, si yo quiero decir una persona feliz... A happy person. Happy person. Happy. Porque esta H happy. se dice happy. con la J. Happy. happy person. Okay. Happy person. Okay. Very good. Excellent. All right, guys. So let's move. Okay. Let's move. So, vamos a poner A or an. Okay. Let's, let's A uh, or an. This is a book. A book. A book. All right. Number two. This is. An eraser. 
English. This is an um, English book. Um, English. This is an um, English book. Um, English. Um, English. Four. This is a dictionary. This is a dictionary. Okay, a dictionary. Okay, what about number five? This is, this a, is notebook. a notebook. A notebook. Okay, notebook. 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 And what about number six? This is a encyclopedia. All right, pronunciation. Let's see. This is an encyclopedia. 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 Perfect. Okay. This is an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. All right, guys. So now, let's see. We are going to practice the spelling, okay? Vamos a practicar spelling, yeah? So, guys, how do you spell, how do you spell board? How do you spell board? B-O-A-R-D. Excellent. How do you spell book bag? Teacher, Yes, guys, si eh, no vamos a participar, tal vez podemos eh, bloquear el sonido porque si sí se escucha que tienen bastante como background, ¿ok? Que estamos hablando tal vez con alguien más y se escucha lo que estamos diciéndole a esa persona, ¿ok? So, how do you spell board? Ajá. Huh? B O O A K R D B A G Okay, book bag. Yeah? How do you spell book bag? Okay, book bag. B O O B A G. How do you spell cassette player, guys? Cassette player. C A A S S E T T T T P L L Y D R E R. How do you spell chair? C A H A I R. Excellent. How do you spell clock? C L O C K. And how do you spell desk? D E S K. Very good. And how do you spell dictionary? D I D I O A R Y. Yes. And how do you spell door? D O R. Perfect. R. Okay. R. R. Yeah. R. R. No. Air. R. R. How R. do you spell map? M A P. Perfect. How do you spell pen? P -E -P -E -P -E -P -E and how do you spell pencil? P-E-N-G-I-L. guys. Esta, la pronunciación de lápiz no es pencil, es pencil. 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 Very good, ok. Pencil. No pencil, ok. Nunca pencil. Siempre pencil. Okay. Pencil. What is, uh, how do you spell table? E, okay, E, okay, E. All right, so what about how do you spell wool? W, W, A, L, L. Okay, okay, remember? W, okay? W, W, right then. How do you spell waste basket? W, W, A, S, E, D, 
right, guys, what is the meaning of waste basket? Basket. What is guess? No, is where you actually throw the trash. Es un basurero. The waste basket is el basurero. Okay. Now, how do you spell window? W-I-N-D-O-W. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys. So, remember, waste basket, basurero. Okay? Yes. Eh, okay, I'm going to take the attendance, yeah? Voy a pasar asistencia. So, please say present once you hear your name. So, here we go. Um, okay, give me one second. Okay. Alexandra Giselle Corena Acosta. Present. Thank you. Alvaro Miguel Moreno. <laughs> Vaya ya, el último se han comido. Álvaro Miguel Moreno. Para de luz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Astrid Gabriela Navarrete Alemán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Israel Estrada Alemán. Carlos. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Vidal Gómez Arguera. Cindy Stephanie Ramírez Rodríguez. Present. Ok, thank you. Claudia Andreina Rodríguez Velázquez. Claudia. Ok. Eh, Daniela Lisbeth Martínez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes Ayala. Diana Beatriz. Reyes Ayala, Diana Michelle Alvarenga. Okay, Thank you. don't worry. El Alvarenga Cortés, Diana Michelle Alvarenga Cortés, no. Okay, Edwin Giovanni Espinosa Melgar. Thank you, Gabriela Alexandra López Borja. Gabriela Alexandra. Gabriela Alexandra. Ok. Jonathan David C. Aleiva. Present. Thank you. José Ismael Vázquez Hernández. Present. Thank you. Um, Karen Elizabeth Cruz de Noyola. Present. Thank you. Leonidas Edgardo García Anaya. Present. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Áviles Chacón. Present. Thank you. María José Guillén de Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mercedes Margarita Rodríguez de Herodas. Present teacher. Thank you. Milena de los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. Present. Yes, thank you. Mirna Yamilez Reyes Argueta. Present. Thank you. Sonia Beatriz Villalta Sarmiento. Present. Thank you. Telma Janet Escobar Manzanares. Present, teacher. Thank you, Telma. Teresa Rosa María Pineda Mojica. Teresa. Vilma Guadalupe Méndez Vargas. Vilma. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Jenny, thank you. Okay, ¿hay alguien que no haya mencionado? No, right. I think that I mentioned everybody. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And let's see, I need two volunteers. Raise your hand, please, with the interactions. Ok, levante su mano si vamos a participar. Necesito a dos voluntarios. Ok. Alexandra and Astrid. Ok. Alexandra, you are Wendy. And Astrid, you are Helen. Ok. Ok. 
Go. Whoa, what's this? It's my camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay, uh, what are these? Uh, they're earrings. Earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They, they are very nice. Okay, now, thank you. Let's focus on pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation there. of this one, there. Yeah, there. there, yes. And pronunciation of this one, it's interesting. Interesting. Excellent. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Very good. Okay. So just for you to focus on pronunciation again, it says, wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Remember this, this box. Okay. Oh, what are these? They're earrings their earrings oh they're interesting thank you rex they're very nice yeah there mm -hmm. very good all right let's continue i need two volunteers again one is going to be jennifer and the other one is going to be david me teacher okay thank you milena and another volunteer me teacher uh, me teacher Okay, Carlos. All right, so in this case, uh, Carlos Vidal and Milena, I think that you were the first one. So Milena, you are Jennifer, and Carlos, you are David. Okay. Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? Uh, no, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Steven, this is, this, no, this is your book. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my math book. Thanks. You're in the class, but Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay. Hey, David. Yes. This is Jennifer. She is in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Perfect. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Conversation. Okay. So let's see vocabulary questions about this. Preguntas de vocabulario de acá. Well, maybe mention he is over there. Okay. Cuando decimos esta expresión, he is over there, decimos él está por ahí. Okay. Over there. Por ahí. Él está, él está por ahí. Okay. O puede cambiarlo con otro pronombre, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, she is over there. Okay. My mom yes. is over there. Uh -huh. Puede cambiarlo por cualquier eh, pronombre, ¿sí? Pero, so, pero se dice por ahí, aunque no lo esté viendo. Puede ser que lo está viendo, puede ser que no lo esté viendo. Porque si se fija aquí, le dice, he's over there, y lo está señalando, así como, él está por ahí. Okay. O puede ser, yeah, he's over there. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. ambas, de ambas maneras ok, very good any other doubt, alguna otra pregunta no, ok let's continue, alright so now we are going to focus on plurals plurales, ok, ¿Cómo hacemos los plurales en inglés ok, bien la primera es la siguiente eh, tenemos las palabras si se fija y solo le agregamos la letra S so we have the words, as you can see right here, and we have telephone. The pronunciation is going to be telephones. Okay. Z. Ese sonido de la Z. Telephones. Ah, yo pensaba que todos se pronunciaban como telephones, como con S. No. Okay. En inglés, la S se pronuncia en muchas ocasiones como una Z. Al final de las palabras. Y usted tiene que aprender a hacer esa pronunciación de la forma correcta, ¿ok? Porque estamos comenzando a aprender el idioma, entonces es necesario que usted se enfoque en que no todas las palabras se van a aprender iguales con, las, con la S al final. Por ejemplo, telephones, cameras, bookbags, 
ahí la estoy pronunciando con S. Pero la regla dice que estas palabras se pronuncian con Z. Escuche la diferencia. Voy a decirlas con S primero y después con la Z. Con S, telephones, cameras, book bags. Ahora con la Z. Telephones, cameras, book bags. ¿Y sí? So, es una pronunciación que tiene que aprender a hacer. Cuesta al principio, es un poco difícil, pero tiene que acostumbrarse. ¿Ok? Porque por ese tipo de cosas, eh, el acento se va marcando cuando usted habla. Entonces, su acento tiene que ser un acento eh, norteamericano. Tiene que saber eso. A ver, ¿alguna pregunta? Vi que algunos levantaron la mano. ¿No? Ok. So, then we also have the following. We have desk, mat, and wastebasket. Vaya, mire esas tres. Dice la regla que estas sí se pronuncian con una S. Entonces, vamos a decirlas. Desks, maps, and wastebaskets. Ok. Then, tenemos las que se pronuncia como una I y una Z. ¿Por qué? Porque mire, esas, todas estas, el plural se hace agregándole ES. Es. Ajá. Entonces, a las que tienen ya E, solo se les pone una S. Fíjese bien, por ejemplo, singular, sentence, que es oración, sí. y el plural se dice sentences. Sentences. Sí. Sentences. Una I y una Z. Ahora, exercise, plural. Exercises. Exercises. Con una I y una Z. Esta pronunciación tiene que ser bien. ¿Ok? Then we also have watch, que es un verbo de. Eh, puede ser ver o puede ser también un objeto de reloj. Right. Entonces, en esta eh, pronunciación decimos watches, 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 watches. Ok, la primera tarea que le va a quedar es hacer esa Z. Ok, esa es la primera tarea que tiene desde ahora. Okay. Esa Z tiene que estar bien para final de este módulo, para que se vaya acostumbrando. Teacher, y entonces, eh, ¿cómo, puede, ¿cómo es una manera fácil, eh, básicamente, de, de pronunciar bien las palabras que terminan con S? La mayor parte de las palabras que terminan con la letra S en inglés se pronuncian con la letra Z. La mayor parte de palabras. ¿Ok? Entonces, tiene que enfocarse en la Z, en esa pronunciación. ¿Ok? Bien, then it says, we need to say the plural forms of these nouns. Then we need to complete the chart. Okay, which is the plural? ¿Cuál es el plural? Which one is the plural of address? ¿Cuál es el plural? El plural. Which one? Of address. A ver. ¿Cuál es el, el plural of this one? Address. Address. Addresses. 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 Yes, porque recuerde que este es así, ¿eh? Addresses. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Cuál es el plural de briefcase? Which is the plural of briefcase? Briefcases. Excellent. Briefcases. Okay. Brief. Cases. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Right? Which is the plural of clock? Plural. Clocks. Mm, in this one, we say clocks. Clocks. Yes. Which oh. is the plural of key? Keys. 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 This one is with. Keys. Keys. Right? Which is Keys. the plural? ¿Cuál es el plural de newspaper? 
Newspapers. Newspapers. Papers. Newspapers. All right. And which is the plural? Of course. ¿Cuál es el plural? Persons. 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 Yeah, persons. Stamp. Stamps. Yeah. Which is the plural of television? Television. Television. And ticket? Ticket. Ticket. All right. Very good. Okay. Ticket. Ticket. All right. All right. Now, let's see. Um, ok, let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo, ok? Todavía tenemos que cubrir gramática, pero también eh, quiero que practiquemos esas preguntas. Ok? ¿Tienes alguna so, mascota? ¿Do you have any pet? ¿Cuáles son tus hobbies? What are your hobbies? ¿Con quién vives? ¿Do you live with? ¿Con quién vive? Y luego. Describe yourself in three words. Quiero que se describa usted mismo, pero no físicamente, sino quiero que me diga adjetivos que usted tiene. Por ejemplo, eh, responsible, happy, intelligent. Tres adjetivos calificativos. Quiero saber cómo es usted como persona. ¿Sí? Then, how many people are in your family? ¿Cuántas personas hay en su familia? Three, two, one, six, eleven. Do you prefer tea or coffee? ¿Qué prefiere el té o el café? Yeah. ¿Y por qué? Si sí, puede formular. Ok. Eh, ok, Álvaro. Si prefiere té o coffee, café, ¿por qué? Oh, because coffee is delicious, teacher. Okay, it's delicious, and I can drink coffee with uh, sweet bread, with cookies, etc. Okay, una respuesta corta, pero quiero saber el por qué. Okay, vamos a practicar alrededor de unos 10 minutos, okay. Probablemente lo voy a estar cambiando de salón, okay. Lo voy a cambiar a los 5 minutos porque son 6 preguntas, okay. Tiene que eh, practicar las 6 preguntas con su compañero. Okay. Primero usted responde, después la otra persona le pregunta. Pero los dos tienen que interactuar. Okay. Eh, y luego, si nos alcanza el tiempo, vamos a tomar el quiz. ¿Ya? Yeah. So, ¿Alexandra? Ah, recuerde, vaya y abra la, la clase. Okay. Recuerde también que usted puede compartir su pantalla. Si está desde su computadora, comparta la pantalla y proyecte la diapositiva para que puedan ver la imagen. Sí, ya le habilité aquí la opción para que usted pueda compartir cuando esté en su salón. Ok, entonces comparta la pantalla si usted puede. Si no está bien, ¿verdad? Pero abran la clase para que tengan esta información. ¿Qué sería? Ok. So, let's see, let's move. Um, ok. Hello, Rose. Uh, they are practicing right now, so I'm going to move you, okay? La voy a mandar para una sala para que practique. Let me see, okay. Okay. 
Hello, guys. Are you practicing? Hello. Okay, guys. Let's practice, okay? Hay que practicar. Vamos a practicar. Yes. Okay. Okay, Gabriela and Manuel Alexander, are you there? Yes. Okay. Jonathan David, usted le hace la pregunta a Manuel y Manuel se la hace a Gabriel. Ok. Empiezo. Yes. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have. What okay. are your hobbies? My hobbies are play video games mm -hmm. and and play football. Okay, excellent. Ah, okay. eh, uh, tengo que preguntar yo, verdad? Yes. Uh, Gabriela, do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a dog and two cats. But I don't like animals. Oh my God, and why do you have to my father's like and my sister <laughs> ok then Gabriela pregúntele a Jonathan la primera okay. Jonathan do you have any pets? Mm, no I not, I not no I don't ah también sí perdón Ok, no, I don't. Ok. Ok. Um, ok. Eh, Gabriela, what are your hobbies? Gabriela. Sorry. Oh. Uh, I like read books and I like listen music. Ok. I love it when I... Listen every day. Excellent. Okay, so now say I like to listen to music. Ah, okay. Dígalo. I like to listen to music. I like to read. I like to read. Muy bien. Excellent. Jonathan, what about you? What are your hobbies? <laughs> mm, watch anime and play video games. Okay. Watching Anime and play video games. Ok. All right. Yes. Excellent. Ok. Hey, Jonathan, la tercera pregunta a Manuel. Eso se pronuncia Gu, ¿verdad? Gu. Who. Uh -huh. Who. Who do you like with? Ok. Who do you live? Uh, who do you live with? Excellent. Manuel, who do you live with? I live with my mother uh, father on my li my siblings and my siblings okay perfect manuel please ask gabriela uh, gabriela who do you live with i live with my family excellent gabriela now you jonathan jonathan who do you live with <laughs> I live with my sister. Perfect. All right. So now let's move and let's talk about this one. Okay. So Jonathan asked Manuel the first one. Describe everything. Describe. Describe. Describe yourself in three words. Okay, Manuel. Uh, how do you say responsible? Responsible. Uh, responsible. Uh, I am. Uh -huh. I am responsible and I don't know. <laughs> Come on, okay? Dígamelo en español. Dígame en español uh, tres adjetivos que usted tiene. Alegre. Okay, so I am responsible. I am happy. I am happy. No se me ocurre. Okay, amigable, no. Yes, yes. 
I am friendly. I am friendly. Okay, very good. Responsible, happy, and friendly. Okay. Now, Gabriela, what about you? Describe yourself in three words. ¿Cómo se dice amable? Kind. I am kind. Kind. Yes. I am kind. I am kind. responsible. Responsible. Um, but in, in Spanish en español ¿cómo se describe? quiero ver amable responsable responsable Permítame, ya le digo. <laughs> okay, Gabriela. Jonathan, what about you? Describe yourself in three words. Mm, introverted, distracted, and responsible. Introverted, distracted, and responsible. Okay. Yes. All right, Gabby, the last one. La última, Gabby. I am a little bit shy. You're a little bit shy, really? Sí, <laughs> yes. Ok, all right. So, shy es como decir, guys, penosa, ok? So, how many people are in your family, Jonathan? Mm, four. Mm. There are four people. There are four people. And in your family, Gabriela, how many people are in your family? There are five people. There are five people. And in your family, Manuel? There are five people. Five people? Okay. Jonathan, do you prefer tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee and you, Gabby? Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. And you, Manuel, tea or coffee? I prefer coffee. Coffee, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So now let's go back. Vámonos de nuevo al salón principal, okay? Let's go back. Okay, guys, so we practice a little bit. I was practicing with some of you, okay? I estoy practicando con algunos de ustedes. Let's go back, okay? Vamos a finalizar, ya casi terminamos. Y tenemos la, um, el summary, okay? Como el resumen de lo que hemos visto. Recordemos, tenemos this, this, okay? And those are for plural, okay? We also have it and we also have they so it is for singular and they for plural okay so if we want to ask okay uh, what is this okay si queremos preguntar qué es esto what is this okay podemos preguntarlo de esa manera what is this so vamos a decir oh this is a camera Si queremos preguntar, ¿qué son estos? Right? So, podemos preguntar, what are these? Yeah. Y podemos contestar, these are cameras. O podemos contestar, their earrings. Ok. Yeah. Podemos contestar de esa manera o de esta manera. No interfiere con el significado. Okay? We also have contractions. And as you can see, we have it's, it is, there, they are, what's, what is. Okay? Let's complete the conversation. Okay? So we have number one. What are these? Their keys. Yes. Two. What is it's is a is player. Player. Is player. In number three, what are these? Yeah. What are these? What are these? Or is this? Yeah, are these? Are what these? are these? And what are what are these? What are these? These are 
box. Box. All right. In our box. Yes. What about number four? Number four. What is this? What, what is, is this? this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? It is uh, this. Okay. A, it's a, a clock. A watch. Okay. A, a watch. watch. Sí, los, los, los que son como de mano, así como este, entonces se dice watch. Okay. Okay. Hmm? okay. What about number five? What is this? 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 Cell phone. This, this is a cell phone. Cell phone. This is a cell phone. What is this? Cell phone. In the last. Uh, what is this? What is this, guys? What is this? This is uh, sunglasses. What is this? Sunglasses. Okay. Mm, what, what is this or what are these? What, what is this? What are what this? Is this? Ok, es plural, ¿por qué? Porque son, mire, tenemos dos, ok, tenemos oh, yeah, yeah. los dos, ok. Yeah. So, what are these? These what are these? sunglasses. These are sunglasses. Perfect, all right. Ok, guys, just for you to remember, ok, don't forget about this. Do not forget about this, no se le olvide esto. Ok, solamente por el tiempo, porque ya son las 8, vamos a dejar la clase hasta aquí. El día de mañana vamos a seguir con nuestra clase. Thank you very much for connecting today. And I hope you have a good night. Ok, cuídense. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good